everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and this week's Winter Wonderland feature is this sweet friendship winter classic, Bear Snores On. The animals in this story throw a spontaneous party with delicious snacks and a lot of friendly chatter, all in Bear's den while Bear snores on. Now this book is also good for talking about animals and hibernation during winter time and I love it when learning is made fun through children's illustrated books. Now, what happens when Bear wakes up to find all of these uninvited guests partying in his den without him? Well, let's find out. Alright my friends, let's begin. This week's featured storybook is Bear Snores On, written by Karma Wilson and by Jane Chapman. All right, so let's see. Who are some animal friends that you see here on this cover who are going to be characters in our story today? Yeah, I see. Hmm, this looks like a bunny. And there are some different animals on this cover. I wonder if you know their names. This is a, a bird or a raven. A raven's like this black bird, like this one. Here's a little mouse and... This looks like a little mole and a badger right over here. Maybe like a gopher? And who's this? Our big bear snoring on. Hmm. And I wonder, they're all like looking at him. I wonder, wonder what they're thinking and whispering. Do you think bear is going to wake up? We'll see. I wonder what he'll do. All right, let's get started. Look at this wintry page. Look at all this snow. Kind of looks like a snowstorm outside. Really cold, huh? Here's our title page. Bear snores on. In a cave in the woods in his deep, dark lair. So lair's like a cave where bear sleep. Through the long, cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. Do you see him? Yeah, there he is hiding in his cave. Sleeping, right? Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight. He sleeps through the day and he sleeps through the night. Mm, so this bear's sleeping a lot. The cold wind howls and the night sounds growl. But the bear snores on. Can you make a bear snore sound? What does a snoring bear sound like? <laughs> yeah, like, <sighs> or maybe even louder because he's a big bear. Might sound like a growl, huh? So my friends, bears are actually animals that sleep all through winter. It's called hibernation. And hibernation, can you say that with me? Hibernation is when animals sleep throughout the whole entire winter. So that's a long time, right? But they sleep to keep their bodies warm. And since there isn't much food in the winter time, right? You don't see many berries or leaves to eat. That helps them save energy. So it looks like our bear's hibernating and snoring. Let's see what happens while he's sleeping. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. <gasps> Ooh, this little teeny tiny mouse. Can you make a little teeny tiny size like a mouse? Mouse squeaks. Too damp, too dank, too dark. So too wet and cold outside. So he lights wee twigs with this small hot spark. Ooh, looks like he made a little fire for himself, right? To keep him warm in the cold. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop. But the bear snores on. Can you make that bear snore sound? <laughs> so it looks like the mouse lit a fire and everything, but he's still sleeping. Hmm. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Who is it, my friends? Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. So a hare is another word for a rabbit or a bunny. Ho, oh, mouse, says hare. Long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. So they cook this tea over the kettle. Mmm. I love popcorn, do you? 
That's a cozy winter snack. Maybe you're munching on some popcorn yourself. That'd be a good reading snack, huh? So let's see. How many animals are in the bear's den now in his cave? One, two, right? Two animals. Do you think bear woke up? Mouse sips, wee slurps, hair burps, big burps. <laughs> but the bear snores on. Ready? Bear snores. <sighs> he just sleeps through everything, huh? A badger scuttles by. This is a badger. Sniff snuffs up the air. I smell yummy yums. Perhaps we can share? So it looks like he's smelling the popcorn and the tea. I've brought honey nuts, Badger says with a grin. Mmm, honey nuts. Let's divvy them up. Let's share them up. Cozy down and dig in. My friends, it sounds like they're kind of having a miniature party in the den now. They have what kind of foods do they have now? Honey nuts, popcorn, some tea. And now how many animals are in the den? One, two, and three. Three animals. Does bear wake up? Let's see. And they nibble and they munch with a true chomp crunch. But does bear wake up? No. Bear, the bear, snores on. Bear snore. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Those animals live underground, so they're tunneling up. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. And so these two birds are flying in from the sky. The raven's this big black one, and the wren's this little brown one. Hmm. There's so many animals in the bear's den now, huh? Mole mutters, what a night. What a storm, twitters Wren, and everybody clutters in the big, great bear's den. Ooh, my friends, now how many animals are there in the den? There were three before, and now four new friends came. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven animals in the den. Will Bear wake up now, do you think, with so many animals? I don't know. I think that might be kind of noisy, don't you think? They tweet and they titter. They chat and they chitter. So lots of talking and fun times. But does Bear wake up? No. But the Bear snores on. Bear snores. <sighs> Wow, this bear can sleep through anything. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear, a sleeping bear, sleeps through the party in his very own lair. He's sleeping through a party in his very own home? My friends, look what's going on here. Do you think they're having a good time? What are they doing? Having like a dance party, it looks like? And look at the weather outside. What's the weather like? Really snowy and cold, huh? Hair stokes the fire, tends the fire, and makes sure it's burning. And mouse seasons the stew. Mmm. Sounds like they're cooking something, huh? Maybe some party food, some party stew. Then a small pepper fleck, a small little piece of pepper, makes the bear. <gasps> What do you think is going to happen if a bear sniffs up a little piece of pepper? You think he'll wake up? Uh, let's see. Ah! Uh, uh, choo! He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. Can you freeze? Don't move. The bear might see you. Ah, my friends. What do you think is going to happen when the bear sees all of these uninvited guests? All these animals in his home that he didn't invite in? Let's find out.
What are the animals doing? Yeah, they're kind of running away. And how do they look? How do they feel? Scared. I see one kind of hiding right in the, hiding his head. And the bear wakes up. And bear gnarls. And he snarls. <sighs> he roars and he rumbles. Can you give me a bear roar? <sighs> and bear jumps. And he stumps. And bear growls. And he grumbles. <sighs> How do you think Bear is feeling right now? Sounds kind of angry, right? Making all those bear noises. Huh. But look at Bear now. I wonder what's going on. You snuck in my lair and you've had all the fun. But me? I was sleeping. And I've had none. No fun for Bear because he was sleeping. And he whimpers, and he moans, oh, and he wails, ah, and he groans, mm. and the bear blubbers on, he's crying, oh, why is he feeling so sad? Because he missed all the party fun, huh? Oh, I wonder, I wonder what his friends will say when they hear that. What do you think? Hmm, let's see. Mouse squeaks. Don't fret. Don't fuss. Look, see. We can pop more corn and we can brew more tea. So what is Mouse suggesting? What is Mouse saying that they can do? That they can have some more fun, right? That they can make more food and they can have their own party again with Bear? Oh. That's such a good idea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, and he sighs with delight. <sighs> then he spins tall tales stories through the blustery, windy night. When the sun peeks up on a clear, crisp dawn, bear can't sleep. <gasps> He's wide awake having so much fun, huh? Hmm, look at all the fun they're having. I wonder, what kind of stories do you think Bear is telling? What are some Bear stories, you think? Yeah, those would all be super fun. Well, let's see. So, Bear can't sleep when it's morning, but... <gasps> but what about his friends? Are they wide awake like Bear? No, what are they doing? Sleeping. So, Bear is wide awake. But his friends snore on. Can we make a big snore for all the animals? Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Woo! That was such a loud snore for all those seven animal friends. The end. I wonder what Bear's going to do while his friends are sleeping. What do you think? Yeah, maybe he goes back to sleep, too. And here's the winter woods. All right, my friends. The end. That was such a fun winter story about Bear and all these animals that live in the woods and came to join Bear in his den. And they were having, like, a little winter party, huh? What was your favorite part in the story? Yeah. I liked snoring with the bear, and I liked how all the friends came together, and they all brought different foods, and they all shared their food and their drinks, right? And talked to each other and told each other stories. Sounds like these friends had a really good time. And how did Bear feel when he woke up and saw all his friends having a party without him? Sad, huh? But then, how did Mouse fix it? What did Mouse say? Yeah, Mouse said that they could make some more food and that they could still have fun with Bear now that he was awake, right? That's so fun. So it sounds like friends really like to all be included, and it's most fun when everyone is there having fun together, right? Right. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this winter read aloud, and it made me all ready for winter season and to snuggle up cozy with some of my own friends and have some yummy snacks and drinks. That's a good idea.
Maybe you can read this again with some of your friends or with your family and have a fun little cozy night with drinks and snacks. Just like these animals. By the fireplace, maybe? Ooh. All right, so let's see what this week's craft is inspired by our story. It's a fun one. All right, so this week's craft is our woodland winter party wheel. Okay, so this is how it works. This looks like the winter woods, right? It's snowing and down here there's some winter things going on. And this is really cool because it also acts as a reading guide if you were to reread the story because you turn the wheel and slowly, one by one, we enter the cave. This black part is going to be your cave. We enter the cave and we see each animal revealed as they enter Bear's cave. First there's the mouse with the fire. And then you turn the wheel and there's the bunny or the hare. And he brought tea and some popcorn. Then you keep turning. There's the badger with the honey nuts. And then there's all four. The mole and the gopher and the raven and the wren. And then the final one is you keep turning. And now they're all in the cave. You see the black cave. There's the bear. And they're all having fun party in the cave. And you got to reveal them one by one as you moved along in this story. So it's also a really great retelling tool uh, that can help your child or you retell the story without using the book. So you start over here. And it's really fun. It's just made out of paper and markers and pens. And down here the kids can draw whatever kind of snow scene they want. And... If you want to retell the story, you just move one by one. You can say the first the mouse came with the fire, and then, and then the badger, and then it just helps give them the visual clues to retell the story in a really fun way. Or like I said, you could also read the story again and move along the Winter Wonderland wheel um, as the story goes along. So it's a fun little visual craft that goes along with our story, and I hope you enjoy it. All the instructions for this craft can be found on the blog, My Storybook, by clicking on the link below. And as always, if you do do this craft, please be sure to share it with My Storybook. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, on the blog, or on YouTube by clicking on all of those social media links down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of our weekly read-alouds. New read-aloud adventures come out every Friday, and this month we have our Winter Wonderland holiday theme. So keep in touch and stay tuned for our next week's Winter Wonderland reading future. Also, my storybook library on Instagram, which you can find on the links below, is going to be hosting one of its first holiday book giveaways, partnering with HarperCollins. So be on the lookout for that for a chance to win five books, and it'll be a super exciting holiday giveaway. All right, my friends. So until next week, I hope you have a wonderful week of December, and I will see you next Friday for our new reading adventure. Until then, happy reading!